Today's video features the Polish Franciscan priest, missionary, and martyr, Saint Maximilian Maria Kolbe, whose feast day we celebrate every August 14. Raymond Kolbe was born on January 8, 1894 in Zdunska Wola, in the Kingdom of Poland, then still a part of the Russian Empire. He was the second son of an ethnic German weaver, Julius Kolbe, and a Polish midwife, Maria Dombrowska. Shortly after Raymond's birth, his family moved to Pabianus in central Poland. In 1906, when he was 12, he saw a vision of the Virgin Mary. Raymond later described this incident. That night, I asked the Mother of God what was to become of me. Then she came to me holding two crowns, one white, the other, red. She asked me if I was willing to accept either of these crowns. The white one meant that I should persevere in purity, and the red that I should become a martyr. I said that I would accept them both. The following year, Raymond, along with his elder brother Francis, enrolled at the Conventual Franciscan Minor Seminary in Loire. In 1910, Raymond was allowed to enter the novitiate, where he chose a religious name Maximilian. He professed his first vows in 1911 and final vows in 1914, adding a second name, Maria. He earned a doctorate in philosophy in 1915 at the Pontifical Gregorian University, and continued his studies at the Pontifical University of St. Bonaventure, where he earned a doctorate in theology. Soon afterward, on October 16, 1917, Maximilian organized the Militia Immaculata to work for the conversion of sinners and enemies of the Catholic Church, specifically the Freemasons, through the intercession of the Virgin Mary. So serious was Maximilian about his goal, that he added to the miraculous medal prayer, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee, and for all those who do not have recourse to thee, especially the Freemasons and all those recommended to thee. The group's founding coincided almost exactly with the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia, and the Marian apparitions at Fatima in Portugal. In 1918, Maximilian was ordained a priest, and in July 1919, he returned to his motherland, which at that time just become a newly independent nation, the Republic of Poland. There, he began actively promoting the veneration of the Immaculate Virgin Mary. From 1919 to 1922, he taught at the Krakow Seminary. Around that time, he suffered from tuberculosis. In January of 1922, Father Maximilian founded the monthly periodical Rices Nepokalene, a devotional publication. From 1922 to 1926, he operated a religious publishing press in Grodno. As his activities grew in scope, in 1927 he founded a new conventual Franciscan monastery, which became a major religious publishing center. In 1930, Father Maximilian moved to Japan where he successfully founded a Franciscan monastery, Magenzai no Sono, on the outskirts of Nagasaki, in just a year. He also established a Japanese Catholic press by 1936, along with a similarly ambitious monastery. In 1936, Father Maximilian was called back to attend the provincial chapter in Poland, where he was appointed the guardian of Nepokalanau. Two years later, he started a radio station called Radio Nepokalanau. After the outbreak of World War II, Father Maximilian was one of the few friars who remained in the monastery, where he organized a temporary hospital. When Nepokalanau was occupied by the Germans, Father Maximilian was arrested. He refused to sign the Deutsche Volksliste, which would have given him rights similar to those of German citizens in exchange for recognizing his ethnic German ancestry. He was later released on December 8. Father Maximilian received permission to continue publishing religious works though in a significantly reduced scope. The monastery continued to act as a publishing house, issuing a number of anti-Nazi German publications. However, on February 17, 1941, the monastery was shut down by the German, and Father Maximilian along with four others were arrested by the Gestapo and imprisoned in the Paviak prison. On May 28, he was transferred to Auschwitz as prisoner number 16670. 
At the beginning of August 1941, 10 prisoners were sentenced to death by starvation as a punishment for another inmate's escape. Moved by one man's lamentation for his wife and children, Father Maximilian volunteered to die in his place. Survivors of the camp testified that the starving prisoners could be heard praying and singing hymns, led by the priest who had volunteered for an agonizing death. After two weeks, on the night before the church's feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the camp officials decided to hasten Father Maximilian's death by injecting him with carbolic acid. His remains was cremated the following day, on the Feast of the Assumption. On May 12, 1955, Father Maximilian was recognized by the Holy See as a servant of God. He was declared venerable by Pope Paul VI on January 30, 1969, beatified as a confessor of the faith in 1971, and canonized as a saint by Pope John Paul II on October 10, 1982. Upon canonization, Saint Maximilian Maria Kolbe was named a confessor and a martyr of charity. Franciszek Gajownicek, the man he replaced and saved at Auschwitz, miraculously survived the Holocaust, and was present as a guest at both the beatification and the canonization ceremonies. Saint Maximilian Maria Kolbe is one of ten, 20th century martyrs, who are depicted in statues, above the great west door of Anglican, Westminster Abbey in London, and is remembered by the Church of England with a commemoration on the 14th of August, his feast day. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.